In the church where I'm rector, two boards depict the Ten Commandments. I saw a man stop to read them. He saw me approaching and rather ruefully said, "Well, I've broken all of those." Then, after a pause, he looked again. Oh, except murder. Thinking about righteousness and what that might look like in our lives can make us feel anxious. It reminds us of being told off. Hearts beat a little faster as we read, "You shall not steal." We wonder if it really means the stapler we borrowed from work and haven't got round to taking back. But righteousness is not so much about being told off as an invitation to live life abundantly and well. The Ten Commandments are about individual flourishing and building strong community, reminding us of our interdependence. These two commandments, in particular, address us as people with responsibilities to others, who know what it means to belong. Adultery is committed when a person who's pledged himself or herself to someone else breaks that pledge. Stealing betrays a disregard for the idea that property can belong to someone else. It's a narrow view of adultery to define it only as sex between a married person and someone they're not married to. Jesus doesn't define it like this. One of his much-used sayings is here in Matthew: "You have heard that it was said, but I say to you." He takes what he says are narrow interpretations and transforms them by emphasizing that the spirit of the law is more important than the letter. Jesus dramatically widens and deepens the definition of adultery by saying that seeing someone as an object of lust rather than a whole human being is adulterous in itself. Carol Ann Duffy expresses the disorientating and potentially cataclysmic effects of this in her poem Adultery. Paranoia for lunch, too much to drink, as a hand on your thigh tilts the restaurant. In conversation with couples preparing for marriage, I often ask them what strategies they have in place now for when they fall for someone else. Young people now can expect to live to one hundred, and so in a long life, it's almost bound to happen. Whether the danger moments involve alcohol, being away from home, feeling ignored by a partner, busyness at work, children, or feeling bored with a job, being able to be honest with ourselves means that our prayers have a good chance of being real. The commandments force us to face ourselves as we really are.